thank you very much for organizing this event. Uh, in this talk, uh, I'm going to talk about the results between two log minimum models of log canonical pairs. Uh, in this talk, uh, firstly, I explain the background of this topic. Uh, mainly, I explain the uh, definition and the current status of log minimum model program for log canonical pairs. And next, uh, I introduce the main result of this topic and related examples. Note that uh, this topic is quite technical because uh, I explain gaps between key factorial KLT pairs and uh, non key factorial log canonical pairs. And all varieties uh, over the complex number field. Okay, so I start the uh, first section. Uh, in this talk, uh, all varieties are assumed to be normal and quasi projective. But uh, I don't assume that. Uh, varieties are uh, key factorial. So in this talk, I deal with not non key factorial varieties. Now let delta be a uh, uh, Q divisor on X uh, such that uh, its coefficient belongs to the interval of 0 and 1. Uh, all main results uh, can be extended to the R divisor cases, but uh, for simplicity, in this talk, I only deal with uh, Q divisors. Uh, let us recall the uh, definition of pairs and the class of singularities. Uh, a pair consists of uh, variety X and uh, Q divided by the delta uh, such that uh, KX plus delta is Q cal T A. Uh, in the pair X delta, the divisor delta is called a boundary divisor and KX plus delta is called a log canonical divisor. In particular, we assume that log canonical divisor is Q cal T divisor. Uh, next, uh, I define the class of singularities. Uh, for any pair X delta and any prime divisor P over X, uh, we can define discrepancy, which is a rational number. Then, uh, a pair is called a LC pair if uh, all discrepancies are greater than or equal to minus one. And a pair is called a KLT pair. Oh, sorry, this is typo. This is a P. A pair is called a Carnot terminal pair if all discrepancies are greater than minus one. It is clear from definition that Kamata log terminal pairs are log canonical pairs. Uh, in this talk, uh, the notation x delta over z uh, denotes uh, LC pair x delta and a projective morphism from x to z. And both varieties are normal and quasi projective. Uh, in the rational geometry, uh, one of the most important conjecture is the existence of a minimal model. This is called a minimal model conjecture. The statement is the following. Let X theta uh, over Z be an LC pair 
with the projective morphism. If uh, KX plus theta is pseudo effective over Z, then uh, there is a sequence of log MMP over Z terminating with a good dominima model. Uh, here, a uh, good dominima, uh, sorry, log minima model. Here, a uh, log minima model means that uh, log canonical divisor is nef over z. Uh, there is uh, another important conjecture, which is called uh, abundance conjecture. Abundance, abundance conjecture states that uh, all log minima model have a nice vibration. But uh, in this talk, I will focus on this conjecture. Uh, from construction, uh, we know that uh, the bilational map X to X prime is a bilational contraction. Uh, currently, uh, we can run the log minimum model program for all, not necessarily, key factorial log canonical pairs. A con and contraction theorem is proved by Fujino, and the existence of flips uh, in, uh, was proved by uh, Bilka and Heikonshu. In particular, you can always run log MMP for non-key factorial LC pairs. But the structure of steps of non-key factorial log MMP is complicated. When x, uh, x, x is a, a key factorial, then it is known that the variety of log minimal model x prime is key factorial. This follows from construction of log MMP. But when x is not key factorial, uh, we don't know that x prime, whether x prime is key factorial or not. So in this talk, log minimal model, uh, we don't assume that log minimal model is key factorial. Currently, uh, many special cases are known about conjecture. So th this is a uh, state of uh, minimal model conjecture. Uh, conjecture uh, 1.2 is known when dimension of x is not greater than 4. A threefold case is proved by many mathematicians, and dimension 4 case is mainly by Shokrov and Pilka. Uh, moreover, in higher dimensional case, the conjecture is known when the pair is KLT and the log canonical divisor or the boundary divisor is big over Z. This is proved by Bilka Cassini, Heiko Makano. This is a breakthrough in the field of minimal model theory. And by, by the result, uh, many important develop, development, yes, uh, yes. Uh, in last year, uh, by a joint work with Pu, I proved that, a pa I proved the partial generalization of the result by Bilka Kashini Heiko Makano. More precisely, uh, conjecture 1.2 is true when 
the boundary divisor is the sum of effective divisor and ample divisor. Uh, by this result, uh, some, some known result for KLT pairs are uh, generalized to log canonical pairs. Moreover, uh, I and who proved that uh, conjecture 1.2 holds for X delta if a key factorial DLT model has a log minimum model over it. Uh, more precisely, uh, if uh, X delta has a log minimum model over Z, uh, we proved that we can directly run the minimum model program starting with X delta, which terminate with a log minimum model. So it is natural to, uh, sorry, there are many other partial results, but conjecture 1.2 is still widely open in higher dimensional case. Next, I explain the main motivation of this topic. Uh, let X data be a projective low canonical pair whose log canonical divisor is pseudo-effective. In the case of surfaces, uh, any log minimum model of the log canonical surfaces is uniquely determined. Uh, this means that for any two sequence of log MMP terminating with two log minimum models, x1 delta 1 and x2 delta 2, there is a natural induced birational map from X1 to X2 is isomorphism. On the other hand, when the dimension of X is greater than two, log minimal model of X delta is not uniquely determined. Uh, in particular, there is uh, examples of threefolds, uh, threefold uh, KLT pairs, uh, which have more, more than one log minimal models. So, in higher dimensional case, it is natural to investigate log minimal models of uh, given LC pairs. Uh, more precisely, uh, we want to know invariant or geometric property that all log minimum models share. Before I explain known result, let, let me define the notion of flop. Let X data over Z be a uh, LC pair with projective morphism. Then a flop for KX plus delta over Z consists of the following diagram over Z, satisfying the following two conditions. First condition is that the diagram is D flop or some q quality divisor D on X. Uh, more precisely, the F from X to V is a small birational morphism. Minus D is ample over V, and the relative picard number is one. F plus from X plus to V is also small birational morphism. And the birational transform of D is uh, 
F プラスアンプル Q から T ディバイサー The second condition is that the log canonical divisor is numerically trivial over V A flop is similar to a flip in the minimum model program, but flop does not appear in MMP. In the Q factorial KLT case, some important result is proved. This is by Bioka Kashini Heiko Matan. Let x delta over z be a key factorial KLT pair is a project morphism. And pick another key factorial KLT pair and project morphism. And suppose that phi is, there is a small bilational map over z such that the bilational transform of delta is equal to delta prime. And suppose in addition that both log canonical divisors are nef over z. Then phi is a composition of flops over z. Uh, by construction of flops, uh, you can check that Cartier indices of Kx plus and Kx prime plus delta prime are the same. So you can define the Cartier index of log canonical divisor as a invariant among log minimum models. And uh, Kamato proved the theorem 1.5 in the key factorial terminal case without assuming that phi is small bilational map. A terminal, terminal case is a special case of key factorial KLT pairs. Uh, Kamato proved that any bilational map between Q factorial terminal pairs is automatically small. And by applying argument of, of the proof of this theorem, he proved that Q factorial terminal case also holds without assuming that phi is a small bilational map. Uh, in this talk, uh, I, will in, I will introduce the, the LC analog of this theorem. Before I explain the main result of uh, this talk, uh, I explain uh, tec some technical issues. Let x delta and x prime delta prime be two projective LC pairs. And let phi from x to x prime be a small bilational map. Uh, in general, since we don't assume that x is x and or x prime, is not Q factorial, uh, we, X and X prime is Q factorial. For a Q quality divisor D, its bilational transform is not necessarily Q quality. So it is very difficult to make a log canonical pair on X prime. Uh, moreover, since X and X prime has log canonical singularity, we don't know whether X or X prime has a small key factorialization. 
a small key factorization means a small birational map, a small birational morphism from key factorial varieties. And uh, because uh, Q quality divisor, uh, because uh, birational transform of Q quality divisor is not necessarily Q quality, we don't know uh, that the Picard numbers of both varieties are the same. Indeed, there is an example of phi that the push forward by, by phi does not induce the isomorphisms of R vector space spanned by uh, you know, several groups. Uh, furthermore, uh, there is uh, examples of flips of Kx plus delta MMP such that the Picard number e Picard number increase. So in general, in non-key factorial case, uh, small rational map does not preserve the Picard number. Next, I explain the main result and related examples. I start with two definitions. Uh, let f from x to z be a contraction, which means that uh, morphism, subjective morphism uh, whose fibers are connected. Then F is uh, extremal contraction if for any two Cartier divisors D1 and D2 on X, then some multiple of D1 and D2 are curinearly equivalent. Ah, sorry. Some multiple of D1 and D2 are linearly equivalent over Z. Oh, sorry, this is type. Uh, in other words, uh, for any Q-quality divisors, D1 and D2, uh, D1 and D2 are curinearly equivalent over Z. In this talk, uh, for simplicity of notations, isomorphisms are also assumed to be extreme contractions. Next, I define the LC centers. Let X delta be an uh, LC center. Then, uh, sorry, LC pairs. Then, an uh, LC center of X delta is the uh, image of prime divisor P of X, whose discrepancy is minus one. Uh, for example, when x delta is log smooth and all coefficients of delta are equal to one, then LC centers of x delta are irreducible components of some intersection of components of delta. Now I explain, introduce the main result, first main result. For i equal one or two, let x i delta i over z be an LC pair uh, whose log canonical divisor is relatively enough. And let phi from x one to x two be a small bilational map over Z, satisfying the following two conditions. 
A first condition is that the Bayesian transform of delta 1 is equal to delta 2. And the second condition is technical. Uh, there is an open subset U uh, such that phi is an isomorphism on U and all LC centers of X1 delta 1 intersect U. Then there are small bilational morphism F1 and F2 from Y1 and Y2 respectively. Uh, such that uh, F1 and F2 are compositions of extremal contractions. And psi, if we define psi as a composition of three bilational maps, then psi is a composition of props for the log canonical pair Y1 and the bilational transform of delta 1. Furthermore, psi indices an isomorphism between R vector spaces uh, spanned by nanosepic groups. Uh, this shows that any q cartier divisors on Y1 is, is mapped to Q quality divisors on Y2 by the push one, push forward by Psi. Yeah, I explain differences compared to Q factorial KLT base case. So let Xi delta I be two LC pairs with log canonical divisor is relatively near. And let phi be a small bilational map uh, such that the bilational transform of delta 1 is equal to delta 2. Uh, in the key factorial KRT case, by the result of Wilka, Kashin, Heiko, Makana, phi is a composition of flops for kx1 plus delta 1 over z. On the other hand, not necessarily key factorial LC case, we need the following condition star. Uh, this is, this condition is the existence of open subset U, such which have a good property. We need this condition because of the existence of LC centers. Under this assumption, uh, there is a projective by small bilational morphism, F1 and F2, such that after small bilational modifications, F1 and F2, the induced bilational map from Y1 to Y2 a composition of props. So the main difference is, is two points. Con the assumption of condition star and and we need to replace log canonical pairs with uh, small bilational modifications. Here are some remarks on the first main theorem. Uh, so, so, so for a given log canonical pair, x delta over z, and two log MMP terminating with log minimum models, x1 delta 1 and x2 delta 2. Then the induced bilational map from x1 to x2 satisfies the two conditions of the main theorem. So in this situation, we can apply the main theorem. And after a small bilational modification, then two log canonical pairs are connected by a flop. But 
when an x1 and x2 are both q factorial, uh, the, the morphisms f1 and f2 are isomorphisms. Uh, it is because uh, small bilational morphisms over key factorial varieties are automatically isomorphisms. So, uh, in key factorial log canonical case, you can directly connect it by, uh, directly connected by a sequence of flops. On the other hand, in the non-key factorial KLT case, uh, even if both x1 uh, delta 1 and x2 delta 2 are KLT, uh, we need to replace both pairs with small bilational modifications. For example, uh, let X1 be a non-key factorial variety with picard number one. And let X be a small key factorialization of X1. And, and put X2 as a small key factorialization. Then there is a small bilational morphism from X2 and X1. But X1 has no non-trivial bilational morphisms because the typical number of X1 is one. So we can not directly connect X1 and X2 by, a by sequence of flops. Here is a, the second main result. Let x delta over z be an LC pair with a projective morphism. And suppose that we are given two log MMP over z to log minimum models x1 delta 1 and x2 delta 2. and put phi from x1 to x2 as an induced bilational map over z. Then the following property holds true. The first one is that uh, there is an isomorphism between higher direct images. The second one is that for any, Q, for any QLT divisor D, such that D is proportional to log canonical divisor over Z, the bilational transform is also QLT and proportional to log canonical, model, uh, log canonical divisor over Z. So, by the second property, is the following two properties. The Cartier index of log canonical divisor of X1 coincides with that of log, that of X2. So even if uh, non-key factorial LC case, uh, even uh, in the non-key factorial LC case, uh, Quality in the index of log canonical divisor is an invariant of uh, log min minimal models. Uh, furthermore, when z is a point, uh, the R vector space R vector space generated by Picard group is isomorphic to the R vector space generated by neuron survey group. If and only if the same isomorphism hold on X2.
Well, the result, uh, any two log minimum models of a fixed LC pair share some properties. In key factorial KLT case, the uh, first condition, uh, this is an isomorphism of higher directed image, is clear from that uh, KLT pairs have only rational singularities. And as I explained, the, uh, the second condition uh, sorry, uh, and the second condition follows from uh, construction of flops or KLT pairs. So it is known that uh, these two properties uh, holds, these two property holds true in the case of key factorial KLT case. And in theorem the 2.4, I assume I assume that both x1 delta 1 and x2 delta 2 are resulting log minimal model of a fixed LC pair. So to generalize the second main theorem, uh, we can we need to ex, we need to relax this assumption. So we can naturally consider the following question. Let x i delta i be a projective LC pair whose log canonical divisor is nef. And let phi from x1 to x2 be a small birational map such that the birational transform of delta 1 is equal to delta 2. Then we can expect that the following two properties hold. Uh, there is an isomorphism of higher direct, uh, sorry, uh, higher cohomology of the structure shapes. And for any Cartier divisor D, which is proportional to log canonical divisor, its birational transform is also Cartier and proportional to the birational, uh, proportional to the log canonical divisor. But uh, unfortunately, the answer is no. So in general, uh, the following two properties does not hold in the situation of question 2.5. In the last 10 minutes, uh, I explain construction of example, which gives answers to question 2.5. Let E be an elliptic curve and HE be a very ample quality divisor. We take W as a product of a projective curve and E. And put P and Q as natural projections. A uh, pick uh, for fix uh, suction to large M and put HW as follows. Uh, this is uh, also very ample quality divisor. And put Y as a P on bundle over X and put F as a natural morphism. And let T be a unique section of OI1. 
Then the following properties holds. The first is well known. So this follows from that uh, canonical divisor of of W is the uh, sum of the pullbacks of canonical divisor of P1 and a canonical divisor of E, which is uh, linearly trivial because E is a elliptic curve. The second property is that all three divisors are semi-ample. By these three divisors, uh, we can construct a contraction from y to v, x, x prime, respectively. Then we obtain the following diagram. And we can check that all morphisms are birational. And the induced birational map from x to v and x plus to v are morphisms. So put g and g plus as the mo natural morphisms respectively. Okay. Now investigate uh, property of y x x plus v. Uh, by construction, kx is anti-ample and ky plus t is equal to the pullback of kx. Since uh, minus kx is ample, uh, we can find the boundary divisor delta such that the pair is low canonical. And Kx plus is relatively ample over V. And this equality holds. In particular, X plus is a KLT variety. And both G and G plus is small birational morphisms. And the pickal number of Y is C. From this, we uh, see that pickal numbers of X and X plus are two, and the pickal number of T is one. Then the relative pickal number is uh, also one. From this fact, uh, we see that this diagram is a cake flip and it is also a flop for kx plus delta. And let delta plus be the birational transform of delta on x plus. By construction of delta, uh, we see that uh, kx plus delta is curinearly trivial and the pair x delta is log canonical. Therefore, uh, kx plus plus uh, delta plus is curinearly trivial and x plus and delta plus is also log canonical pairs. And the induced birational map from x to x plus is small. I explain the geometric property of x and x plus. First, since x is low canonical phenomenon, 
So every higher cohomology vanishing. This is proved by Fujino. Uh, on the other hand, uh, by red spectral sequences, uh, EC labs, the higher cohomology of X plus is isomorphic to higher cohomologies of elliptic curve. So the first cohomology of the structure shift is, is the higher cohomology of uh, elliptic curve. So this is the its dimension is equal to one. So the dimension of first cohomology of OX is zero. From these facts, uh, you have the inequality. Put D plus as a numerically trivial Cartier divisor on X, which is non torsion. And let D be the biational transform of D plus. Then D is not Q Cartier. By contradiction, if D is Q Cartier, since X is log canonical fano, we must have some multiple of D is linearly trivial. But D plus is also Q linearly trivial. This is a contradiction. So the biational transform of D plus is not Q Cartier. As a conclusion, uh, this example shows that uh, there is low canonical three folds, x delta and x plus delta plus, with small biational map, psi, we set that the following fact hold. The dimensions of a first cohomology of structure sheaves are not the same. And there is a numerically trivial Cartier divisor D plus whose biational transform is not even q Cartier. I give a final remark. The following diagram is a kx flip and crop for kx plus delta. And the both spical numbers are the same. This is equal to two. But we can check that from construction that uh, the following three properties for X plus is key factorial, but X is not key factorial. The second property is already proved. And the other property is that X is low canonical fano, but X plus is not even low canonical phenotype. This means that for any boundary divisor on X plus, its low canonical divisor is uh, not anti ample or the pair with the boundary divisor is low canonical. So this phenomena cannot be occur in Q factorial KLT case. Okay, here is a conclusion of this talk. I will stop here. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot, um, Kenda. Are there any questions? Or perhaps um, there's some questions in the chat.
Uh, I'll, I'll just termination the exit. Ah, sorry. Uh, this termination. What? Uh, uh, yes, I'll just termination on the exit is by um, Yes. So. Okay. So yes. Uh, in all. Uh, in all cases, uh, you can run the log MMP with scaling of Ampli divisor. And this scaling of MMP with scaling of Ampli divisor terminates. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. Well, if not, let's um, uh, give him some applause here. Thank you very much. <laughs>